Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about um, keyframing and basic 3D and stuff like that in Final Cut Express. Um, sorry about my hair's all messy. We had a student today at school today. That was really fun, and our uh, my class did was like a group like we had to do groups and we are like the pokemonas which is like kind of like emo but not really um and they don't have like over the eye hair they have uh crazy hair but my hair is kind of toned down a lot more than it was so yeah well let's jump right into it here we go oh and also uh Sorry for the bad quality. Um, yeah. So let's start off. Um, first, we're going to uh, just uh, start off with some clips. I was just doing some other stuff, so this is what it'll kind of look like, but a little different. I'll just show it to you real quick. I'll just make the screen a little bigger for you. Yeah, hopefully you can see it better. So that's pretty much just what I was going to show you. It's just a little clip of YouTube. But I'm just going to get rid of that because that's the finished product and we don't need that right now. So I already know what we're going to do. So I'm just going to, yeah, just get some footage. And all the footage is right now. Let me just render it out. Sorry for rendering. It's a pain in the butt. We all know. We've all been through it. Okay. So it is done. And you can see that it is basically a freeze frame. Oh my god, that was amazing. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. So we have just a little extra work room. I can delete that. Okay. So we're going to just go up into here. Uh, go to effects. Video filters. Perspective. Basic 3D. Right. But I've already got it over here. So I'm just going to grab and paste. But, as you can see, I already have it loaded into these clips. So we don't have to render again. Yes. Still the same thing. Nothing to... So first, I'm going to select the clip, go into motion, and I'm going to give it a little couple... Just a little couple of seconds, just of basic nothing, just so your eyes can take in. So this is just Safari, a little YouTube thing, and then my email is behind there. Okay, so we keyframed it, and it'll turn, say, says, needs rendering. Okay. So we'll just jump up to about two seconds and hit the keyframe button again and this this button is the overall keyframe because when I hit it watch all these ones are going to turn green instead of just doing like that you can see see they all went so now I'm going to zoom in zoom in like that that looks good then I'll jump up to like four seconds. So hit the button again. And I'll zoom out. Then I will shift over to there. But then I'm going to zoom in also. And it's going to zoom back into there. But it's okay because I'm going to. Okay, sorry. Just 
and zoom out actually a little bit so it'll zoom in a little much. Uh, there, that's good. Now we can uh, zoom. Now we can, since it's like that, uh, then we can, let's say, go over to here and go make another keyframe and we'll scale it all out to about a hundred let's just type in a hundred just to make it easy but I'm just gonna make this screen smaller so kind of smaller so I can put it back in just put the scale to about there now I'm just gonna make this bigger so we can all see. It's gonna go like 66%. Okay. Now we're going to see this. Yeah, let me just zoom in. See how the uh, box? What's it called? Uh, let's figure out what it's called. Wireframe. Yeah, wireframe. Make sure to see the wireframe. How it's all green. Oh, if I. If it's over here, which there, see how the wireframe is all green? Yeah. So that, as you can see, is all green, and that means it's keyframe. And there, we're going to go into the filters, and okay. There we're going to add a keyframe to this, which is going to be set at zero. And then we're going to go scrub back to to there. And we're going to add another keyframe. And wait, but we're going to go forward to this one. Sorry, I made a mistake. And this one's going to be like that, just a little tilted. Then I'm going to go a little bit ahead of that, hit it again, and we can do that. And you can see how this can do whatever you really want to. But I'm going to render this out. And yes, it is annoying to render out, but... Do you guys really care? It's like 10 seconds to render it out. And then we can see our finished product. It's what 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Just say it's 10 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. What the heck? Alright, wait, okay. Well, here we go. 6195. So, we can. Oh, it's. Don't have. If we delete that, we can just go, like, or we can make a modify, modify, make freeze frame, drop, drag. Okay. So then it goes in like that. Boom. There you go. There's your cool little clip. So I really hope this helped. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't made a tutorial in a while, and yeah. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Or in the U.S. or in Chile, they say ciao. So, ciao. <laughs>